Hi, today we're going to work with WIST's JavaScript API. And JavaScript and API together in one sentence may seem a bit intimidating, but it is actually quite simple. So let's say we have a chart.js embed right here, which is uh, completely static, right? So there's just static data in here, right? But in WIST, we have a variable, first of all, with our data. And we have already two variables split up um, with the weak labels and with the numbers right here. And we want to get those variables now in this embed to show the dynamic data. So the way we're going to do that is utilizing WIST's JavaScript API. And it is super simple. We can just access within our HTML embed right here and right here WIST variables. But in order to do that, we need to initialize WIST. So what we need to do, we just copy the initialization code from WIST. And we're going back to Webflow. And before we, want, we, we run the JavaScript script, let's just add the WIST initialization code. And then let's just copy the whole code in here, the whole script, like this. And let's put it right here in the initialized WIST environment after we initialize WIST. Make sure everything is formatted nicely. And yeah, your code goes right here. So now, since we're calling WIST right here before we're initializing the chart.js data, we can just access WIST variables in here. And let's just start with the label ones. So we have to type with a caps W, WIST. We're going to do dot data. And we're going to do dot V for the variable. And now we're going to take the label variable. Let's copy that name. And we're going to reference to it. We use dot label. So WIST with a caps W dot data dot V dot labels. And we're going to do the same thing for the different ver for the another variable that is called numbers. Like this. Now we're going to save it. And now we have dynamic WIST data from our variables or API call or whatever you want to reference it to in our chart in our uh, HTML embed. And this is how we're going to get dynamic data that is in WIST into an embed that we want to display into a WIST website without having to build the whole thing from scratch in WIST, right? We can just utilize the power of HTML embeds and just at the places where we want to put the data utilize WIST variables uh, by initializing WIST's JavaScript API. And that's the whole magic of WIST JavaScript API. It is super simple and it's super easy to use and super easy to work with it. And as you can see, if I were to update some data, let's do this, uh, let's do 9,000 something here. We see that it will update based on the dynamic information. So this is how you're going to use with JavaScript API. And that works for everything from tables to charts. You can even use color variables. You can um, toggle light mode or dark mode in those embeds based on what's going on on your environment. The possibilities for this are endless and it is a super powerful tool. But I think a lot of people think it is complicated because it contains the words JavaScript and API, but as you can see, it is super simple. So I'm super excited to see what you're going to build with WIS JavaScript API. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for all, for all your support as well. And have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.